It's been said that those who create never really run out of ideas. That writer's block, or whatever else you'd like to call it, is just an excuse those who are lazy use not to work harder. As for Trent, well, I'd guess that he would disagree. After all, he's been trying to get an idea all morning. See, that's the problem. I, I, I don't have a lot of friends to help me make a video like that. That, that takes a lot of people. I mean, yeah, I know, but still, maybe you could, you could make a video about a time travel adventure, and you can, like, create all these different voices from different time periods. Okay, well, that sounds kind of ambitious. Not quite what I had in mind. I was thinking more along the lines of something I can maybe do in, like, uh, I don't know, two days' time? With no one else but me? Just me. Okay, okay. How's this Shakespearean tragedy? You could be like every character. That could work. Okay, uh, how would that be practical? What do you mean, how? I mean, literally. I have I have two days. I just told you. It's just me. Yeah, you know, I keep forgetting that you're just a voiceover tool. That doesn't mean I can't help you out. Yeah, but you're not even a person. Well, that was rude. Why don't you just get- No, okay, I'm sorry. I'm being rude. Yeah, that's rude. Yeah, no shit. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna clear my head. You do that, and- Oh, lose this number. He wasn't having much luck. At this point, he was beginning to wonder if this video was even worth it. So, that wasn't a friend of mine, if, if you can't tell. Now, I know it sounded real, at least pretty real, but that was all AI, which is in itself extremely impressive on how real it can and does sound now. Now, I want to share with you a cool new tool, but I promise you this is not just some glorified ad. Come here, I want to, I want to show you what I've been doing to make this video. Okay, so we're here on the new voiceover tool. And you can see that up at the top, you still have all the rest of your, you know, applications should you use them. Now on the screen here, from my experience so far, this is the part that matters right here. This is where you're gonna enter the text you want, scroll down, you can choose a bunch of voices, like maybe this one, for instance. The solar system, our cosmic home, it's a family of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets orbiting the sun. That, that, that sounds, I mean, honestly, in my head, it sounds pretty legitimate. The one you might recognize is this one. Colors are manifestations of light interacting with matter. That's because obviously we use that in the intro. Okay, so obviously we have loads of sounds here to choose from. You can see if I scroll up and down here, there's just loads of things going on in regards to how many voices you want. And there will be more, they say, coming out as the, you know, the days roll on. You have options. Let's say I want a guy's voice, right? Male. In our video category, I want to have it sound very personable, so let me call it social. So uh, you can read a little descriptions here of the text of what it might sound like. Best for commercials and social. A little bit of a witty voice, if you would, a touch of cheekiness paired with sarcasm. So let's, let's give this a listen. Our splendid sparkling water, bottled with the utmost care, each bubble as bubbly as the next and as poppy as a dance. All right, so that's a great voice in regards to what they said it was, and I think that that's the point I'm trying to make here is that you can sort by category, you can sort by gender, and you'll actually get some decently good and accurate options to what you might have expected. Well, let's just say we want to use this one, press select. Now that's a selected up here, where we want to enter our text, we can enter anything we want and punctuate it properly or punctuate it the way you think it might need to be punctuated in order to get the canter and the delivery you're looking for. Let's just give it something to say, like, hey, Welcome to this video. Hey, welcome to this video on the Tutorials channel. We talk about video editing and production as well as storytelling in general. Awesome to have you here, right? That's my delivery. Maybe there'll be a different delivery when we get this one. So all we do is press generate. Now my voiceovers tab will be selected. This is our text now generated by Artlist. It tells you the text below here. You can download it. This will tell you how similar or dissimilar it is to the original voice that it provides you with. So if you press this, we'll listen back to it. Hey, welcome to this video. On the Trentorials channel, we talk about video editing and production, as well as storytelling in general. Awesome to have you here. So maybe that wasn't the best fit for the sentence we have here. We're gonna go and try hype, and then we're gonna press generate again. Uh, let's give hype a try. Hey, welcome to this video. On the Trentorials channel, we talk about video editing and production, as well as storytelling in general. Awesome to have you here. Okay, so that one, it read it weird, but this is what I've been doing that's been working quite well for me. And again, it's a tool, it's not a, you know, one size fits all thing. So he paused really weird after he said, hey, I'm gonna cut the rest of this, so command X, and we're just gonna generate just that sentence for now. We'll press play. Hey, welcome to this video. 
Did you hear much better that reads back? The longer the text ends up being, the weirder it gets sometimes. So I find that short burst, and you can tell if you come down here, I have like two seconds, five seconds, five seconds. That reads well. So we're gonna, you know, use that one. So let's say we wanna download it. We'll, we'll act like we downloaded it, right? And we're gonna paste in the rest of that sentence. Delete that comma, because again, we kinda want them to read it all the way through. And we're gonna delete just the end of the sentence here. Generate. Okay, and here we are, so let's play this back. On the Trentorials channel, we talk about video editing and production, as well as storytelling in general. Obviously, this is a fake word. It's gonna struggle a little bit with the words that are not actually in the dictionary, for instance, but Overall, and on a general scale, it's pretty accurate. It sounds pretty good. Now, again, if we didn't like this voice, we can come back to the voice catalog while it's still active, right? And just change this to like documentaries, for instance. And let's say I want the professor back, the one that was introing our video, our narrator for this video. Let's push generate and we wait. Let's hear this one back. On the Trentorials channel, we talk about video editing and production, as well as storytelling in general. That one I feel like read back quite well. So you have 35 options to choose from at the current moment. Tomorrow I might have more. They might change some things. It's still in beta. If you can't tell up here, it's still in beta. So things could be subject to change from my point of view at least. And one last thing I want to talk about is if you go to voice settings here, and let's say we wanted to change the emotional range for instance, and if we change it more, right, it will warn us that it will be different sounding than like the previous ones. So therefore be cautious of how much you change it. Let's say we bring it really high to 100%. And then how similar is it to the original voice? Again, if it's uh, less similar or very similar, right? It could be weird. And then style boosting, of course. If I wanted to be really exaggerative, I can bring it higher, press generate. However, it's probably gonna be sounding quite different than this one. So again, for reference, let's play this one. On the Trentorials channel, we talk about video editing and production, as well as storytelling in general. And now let's play this one. On the Trentorials channel, we talk about video editing and production, as well as storytelling in general. So obviously, there's a different pitch. It's slightly different in terms of how the delivery is given. But overall, it's pretty similar. You can tell it might be from the same person on a different day, perhaps. And like, if you want that consistency, you can't change the variable settings too much. You should just keep them at whatever you decided that it should be in the beginning. If I reset it, It'll go back to exactly what it was supposed to be. Well, now this is accessible to you if you have the Artless Max subscription or if you individually get this subscription for voiceover only. Scroll on down, you can go ahead and read through the plans. Now there's the music and SFX plan, which is just standard, you know, Artlist music sound effects. Now you have the AI voiceover tool, which is obviously what we just went through. But again, if you press browse plans there, you can choose the plan that works best for you. If you just want the voiceover tool, there you go. It's right there. You can just get the voiceover. And if you want everything, including the voiceover, like if you want music and sound effects, you want the voiceover, you want footage and templates, then of course, Artless Max here. You can go ahead and get this and you'll have the AI voiceover tool accessible to you there. And that's the new AI voiceover tool from Artless. Now, obviously there's some kinks to work out there. There's some things that are gonna be improved as time goes on, as well as more options. But I think overall, for the, considering what it is, it's, it's pretty phenomenal, it's pretty cool to use. And I think that in the case when you need to use it, it's a great option for that AI voice that people obviously often look for in their content. So that's all. I'm gonna let the uh, narrator send this out because I feel like that's a little bit more fun. Get a full circle, you know, back to space or something like that we go. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for being here. Take it away. Oh, am I on? Um, okay. And so Trent finally did find his idea. But as these stories always go, he found inspiration where he least expected from me. It was always me. Do you know what else was always me? The two months of freeartlist.io when you sign up for an annual plan using the link in the description. And you thought I was just an AI tool.